Hello anyone. So what you saw there was the tiny circuits, tiny piano, um, a relatively inexpensive item. Um, I wanted to get a feel uh, for the, you know, what you what you get from the company. So this was a pretty good entry point at uh, like 10 bucks or something. Uh, you gotta pay shipping and handling. Um, but that brings me to this, which is actually what I'm really excited about. Um, I first found these guys uh, because of the, they have a product called the t uh, Tiny Arcade or Pocket Arcade. I should probably know that. But um, anyway, I really like that product and I was kind of keeping my eye on it when they released this product, which is... Um, from Tiny Circuits, the, the Pocket Arcade. Um, so it's basically their, uh, their, the other, the other um, product they offer, one of the other products they offer is a little stand-up arcade, which I, I thought was pretty, pretty cool. Um, but this is what I'm more interested in right now. Um, so, have a look with me here. Okay. So there you go, the Pocket Arcade DIY kit. Um, uh, a fairly simple build, I believe. Um, so let's see what we got. We got uh, printed physical copy of the assembly instructions. Pretty cool. Um, all of the layers it looks like to build it. Uh, Got some stickers to pull off. Uh, looks like they threw in a button. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got the... Wow, this screws are long, thin, and tiny. And then we've got the couple of buttons. They look printed. Um, let's see, inside, oh, a little wrist lanyard. Looks like we've got screen, circuitry. Nice, pretty nice. Uh, what's in this one? Oh, battery. Um, I watched the instructions, the build instructions uh, looked fairly simple. Speaker, tiny. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look. Um, detailed instructions go to their website there hopefully we don't need that let's uh, get everything opened up here and ready all right um boy lots of lots of pieces here All right, uh, so have the following nine pieces. We got two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, circuit board, set of buttons, hardware kit, containing screws, four nuts. Oh uh, yeah, it's in there. Battery, speaker, landed strap, all right. 
Uh, so it says assemble electronics together. Give them a quick test. Start by connecting battery to the connector labeled BAT. Doesn't get much easier than that, I suppose. So that'll fit into, let's see, it looks like that. All right, that's in there. And that must sit, I don't know, maybe somewhere in there. Uh, and then the speaker, same size and shape, so make sure not to mix them up. All right, now we look for the speaker. Match that up. All right, well, that slips in there. All right, now we give her a test by, oh, look at her. She's already on. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, well, okay, we know it works. Let's see, power on, speaker on. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I didn't realize that. Um, so it says power on, speaker on. So if you're trying to be on the sly with this thing, you know, sitting on the pot or whatever, uh, you could not have to mess around with a volume switch, but at the same time, I guess that either be in binary on or not, um, maybe no volume control. Um, so let's see, power on, looking for SD card. I don't have one for it yet. I'll dig one up later. seems to function maybe we should test it oh so dry here okay we're open We're gonna leave the nuts in there. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll get everything organized here and then we'll get to building. Let's see, all right. So, looks like we gotta start peeling all the stickers off. Um, I guess I could start doing that. <gasps> okay, that super sucks. That's straight out of the box. I just snapped that like it was nothing. Well, there's that. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. There was a lot of peeling and picking. Um, I did snap that piece like it was nothing. Um, I don't happen to have any acrylic glue on hand, but maybe in the future I can put it back together. Let's, uh, we'll assemble it, see if it'll still go. Um, okay, so let's see. It says uh, peel the film, so we'll do that. Careful there, it's got some little glass edges you really can't see. Um, the button holder layer, they call it. Seems to be that one. All right. Pop 
place the buttons in their spots, so it doesn't really look like it matters. Buttons. Uh, we drop the four screws. One there. Now you got to get all the pieces to line up. So going corner to corner may help you. I'm trying not to smudge up the layers either as I go. Uh, I've assembled a few of these acrylic cases and it just bothers me to no end to have a you know smudge two layers down or something like that. Um alright, yeah, stuck to me. Let's try to flip this over without, okay. So now the pins are up. Push them to, okay, so. Um, and you're all orientated like the photo, I guess. How did they show? to see what happens when we start building it. Um, first back layer. Oh, let's see, which one's the broken one? You. Okay, okay. You're the broken one. So I'm gonna set that aside. Alright. Okay, so now it looks like the next pieces to go in would be these ones. Um Let's see, so it looks like one side and the broken side, and then, uh, so this must be the layer, and let's see. Oh, nope, this one would be the, okay, yep. That makes more sense. So let's get the speaker out of the way. Let's see if we can line that up there and there. Okay, so then on this side would be, okay, yep. Unfortunately, I think the broken piece is the one that goes here there and then this would fit uh, well I suppose it would fit in there like that oh no well that may not work let's see maybe we can get it to sit in there with the next layer Let's see. So 
So what comes next? Peel the backing off the speaker. So more more sticker peeling. And then this is going to let's see, we wanna add a twist. This fits down. I guess right there. Fold that in. I don't know. Let's let's uh, we'll continue. Um, ah, that piece keeps falling out. Why? Well, I wish I would have been paying attention when I did that. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to skip it for now. Uh, so now we'll fit the battery in. The last split ring. Okay, that all fits. Oh, just these ones. Let's see. So, should be one there. And then another one. Okay, so I was wondering what this piece was. I don't know if you could see that. But it's actually a tiny wrench. So, looks like this would be the last layer to go on. I'm not sure. Where are we getting? Hey, that works pretty good. So we'll slip this on. I'd really like to get that to sit right there. Maybe if you had a little bit of tape or something, you can keep that from sliding around. Okay, the last step should be I'm gonna see if I can do something about this battery. I guess that's not so bad. This is going to be tough. I think this is probably the hardest part of this whole build. Ugh. Oh, those. <sighs> hmm. Maybe that's where this little wrench comes in. Oh, 
I guess you still have to have it in there. So knowing what I know now, I wouldn't have peeled the stickers off the wrench. So if you're watching this and you get one of these, don't bother with that step. <laughs> Oh, boy, I have no idea. Oh. They are just so small. Um, let me try something here. Not magnetic. Okay, so that ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. What can I do here to try to get these little tiny nuts on? All right, so there's one. Three more to go. Uh, all right, that's two. And they warn you not to over tighten it because you'll crack the acrylic. Should be the last bit of assembly. Oh, boy, I am really having a heck of a time with the first and the last ones. Imagine that. Okay. Okay, um, so not too bad. Took me about a half hour, give or take, and uh, not too bad. Um, other than I snapped that top piece, fits right in there. I don't know if you can see that gap but that's where that piece would sit now if I if I loosen this one I may be able to sneak it down in there like so and then I'll try to tighten it back up so it's in there, it's not going anywhere. I'm still gonna probably just set a little glue right in there. Um, but not too bad. Uh, now let's see, I, I believe it comes preloaded with uh, three games. Um, and then there's a small community of people working on games and stuff like that. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe with the SD card slot, it also does video playback. Um, now, I, I believe it said uh, that this, the printing, 
the um, the printing or silk screening, whatever you want to call it, on the board was backwards. So I, I think for speaker for volume on, it actually is the opposite. So let's. Uh, all right. So it looks for the SD card. Tiny shooter. Tiny Tetris. Flappy birds. Now the oh, down button was a little sticky. Um, I'm gonna loosen up the frame a little bit. I may have over tightened and it, it uh, doesn't move as freely as a directional pad I think should. So a little more wiggle room there. The down pad, I don't know if you can hear that. It's a little, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Um, like I said, I, 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 it sure looks like these buttons are 3D printed. Um, so maybe just a little uh, filing down of the buttons in the right spots to, uh, or maybe, I don't know. That seems fine now. It's maybe not as snappy as the others, but I had to loosen up the case quite a bit. Um, yeah. Uh, it's kind of the same thing with the buttons here see I don't I didn't want the case to be too loose and allow a lot of dirt and junk to get in there but um, as of right now I'm just gonna loosen it up just maybe a little more maybe don't even use the wrench to tighten it whatever you can do with your fingertips um, okay Okay. Uh, no, I guess despite what the book says, the speaker actually is in the on position for this, for this one. Um, so, like I said, three preloaded games. Looks like a Flappy Birds. Tiny shooter. Oh, 
Okay. Um, so I guess at this point, I'm going to familiarize myself with it a little bit more. Um, I guess this video is just the assembly and just sort of familiarization. Um, so there you go. That's what you get uh, if, if you're thinking about picking one up from uh, Tiny Circuits here. Um, not too bad. Uh, this is my first rodeo with it. So like I said, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, I may pay a little attention to the buttons a little more. Um, Cause like I said, I, I wanted to keep the case fairly closed. Um, but at the same time, you gotta have the buttons working. Um, one other thing that uh, I, I, I'm kind of wondering why, um, if you remember, there was the the first layer on top of the board um, holds the buttons in place as far as you know sliding around. I wondered why they didn't just have that layer continue across the screen. Um, I don't know that I like that the screen is exposed like that. I mean, it's gonna pick up fingerprints and also maybe allow a lot of crud in there. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how much that's gonna matter. Uh, but I just, I thought it was a cool little device. I wanted to check it out and uh, maybe check out the community, make a game or two of my own for it. You never know. Um, so, all right, I guess that's it for the DIY Pocket Arcade kit. Um, I think it's got some potential. Um, so, hey, thanks for hanging.